What is up guys, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I have a really cool tutorial for you guys. If you guys like a tutorial on TV antennas, cutting that cord, no more local cable boxes, no more direct TV or whatever you guys are getting satellite. I've cut the cord two years ago. I've been using just antenna TV and I've been surviving. You're able to use these antennas and internet now. You can get a lot of local stations and a lot of other stations as well that I will show you later. But I'm gonna get a lot in this video and I kinda just wanna talk about TV antennas. I've had a lot of questions on TV antennas. What should I buy? How do I hook it up? That type of thing. Once again, it's always just easier to make a video for you guys, try to be helpful and that's all I'm here to do is be helpful and help you guys figure out how to get this done and show you some examples of some decent stuff that I have and own that I can show you guys. So that's what I do guys. If you like videos, review videos, tutorial videos, if you like that type of video, that type of content, please tune into my station. Please subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, all that type of stuff. Please do that. I'm only here to help. I try to do the research so you guys don't have to make some judgments on some of these products that I let you guys know. I will leave a lot of links in this video because a lot of people asking me on the TVs that I own. I'm gonna show you guys some antennas that I own. I'm gonna show you some TVs, an old one and new ones. I'm gonna show you a Samsung Smart TV uh, from 2020, a Roku or Roku, whatever you wanna say it, uh, R6 from 2021. Those are probably my newest TVs that I own and show you guys how to set those up as well with an antenna and get your local stations, guys. So all local stations are free, guys. It's really nice. And, and like also if you pay for internet and you have internet in your home, which most people do, you can also get some free stations too. And I'll show you guys how to hook that up as well. Let's get into antennas. What do you need? What's out there, guys? Well, honestly, guys, if you have an old antenna, which I do, I have one from the probably late 90s, this RCA antenna that I found in a box somewhere, it still works guys this thing's all broken and stuff this is all broken but this will still work no matter what if you, it probably doesn't work as better as good as some of these other ones but it still works if i want to watch some tv in the garage i can hook this up to this little portable tv i have a little 32 inch here that i use for a lot of various things and i'll drag it all over and i'll hook this up to it no problem i will pick up local stations so i can pick up cbs or uh, Fox and I can watch the local game that's going on outside in the garage on the back porch, whatever And I will take this antenna and it works just great still in 2022 as I'm making this video this will still work So if you have an old antenna laying around it is still useful. It will still work Just the antenna and just the coaxial cable that I'll show you where to hook up in just a minute But this will still work guys. So if you have something old laying around no need to buy a new one This will still work. So this could be a freebie if you can find an old one and rest laying around your house. These will still work. You know, com no uh, converter box or nothing needed. General thing, but mostly from what I found, uh, this is a 2015 Samsung 32 inch TV. It, no need, no converter box needed. All you need to do is hook up an antenna and most of the smart TVs and newer TVs, and I'd say like from 2015 and up, have built in already to be able to process that signal from your antenna so you don't need to buy anything extra for the most part i'm not going to say all tvs but for the most part to 2015 and up if you own a tv around there you should be able to do this now i did notice on some vizio tvs they don't even have an antenna and i i, could, I don't know a run around i don't know if there's an adapter that you can buy but a few TVs out there that don't, so I won't say all, but like I said, if you have an antenna in, you can pick up local stations with an antenna. Okay, and no need to get a converter box or anything. You can simply just plug that right into the TV and you will be able to get local stations. And I will show you how to do that here quick, but I want to show you a couple more antennas real quick. So, like I said, freebie if you can find the bunny ears laying around the house. This is a GE antenna. This is, has thousands of reviews, guys tried and true just your basic antenna i will leave a link it's 20 bucks not going to break the bank and they work really good you can set it behind your tv on a table and kind of same thing still has little antennas in this black box i don't know if this black box actually does anything but it does uh, use with the antennas 
And once again, it's just a simple one cord that you just hook up to the back of your TV and you're good to go. So this is 20 bucks, it works really good. All these antennas that I have, I found work pretty good. Now, the only reason you might want something a little bit with a little bit more range, and most antennas come with ranges, so they'll say like 25 miles, 30 miles, 40 miles, 50 miles, 100 miles, antennas and that gives you the range of the stations you can pick up around the area now the best antenna is of course an antenna that you can actually hook up on the side of your house run a cable in and it'll still have just the same type of cable that will just hook up right to your tv but you have the antenna outside and get some better signal like i said if you're in the basement you want something a little more range possibly a signal booster that way you can get a little bit better signal like if you're down in a basement but all these antennas that I have work pretty decently actually in the basement. You might not get the best signal, but they have pretty decent signal, all of them. And I do, I'll show you the one that I use in my basement here in a second. Right, so next one is another RCA that I purchased probably about, about eight years ago. A little, uh, I call it my little wings here. And you can hang this one up on the wall or, you know, right behind your TV. That's fine. Same thing, just the cable. But I'm just showing you they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. And um, this doesn't work any better, in my opinion, than uh, some bunny ears. But it's there and like, I just want to show it to you. So I will leave links for all these, like I said, so you can kind of take a look at some of them. Now, this is a little bit different one. This is the like the newest style out there. This one can get hooked up to your wall. So you can put this behind your wall or you can set it right behind your TV. You just stand it up. This will stand up uh, right behind your TV. But this does have a signal booster. So what that is, is just this little box right here. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna get it to focus, but it says uh, basically short range and long range and there's a little switch right here. So this has a signal booster and that's what this is right here. And it does need power, so you have to plug it in. But once again, this also does have a just a normal plug that you just plug into the TV. I also have a filter on this. It blocks out some of the uh, outside cell phone interference and stuff like that. Block some of that out. That way you can kind of get a better signal. I'm not 100% sure that works really good, but I just have it. And I've noticed pretty good... Uh, pretty good signal down in my basement. This is the one that I do use in my basement. But like I said, this goes right to your TV and then it does have a USB plug right here that you could either plug into the wall, but you will have to buy a little adapter like this to plug in. Any adapter will work. And you could plug this and you can plug it into the wall or you can plug it into your TV. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Yeah, so we're at the back of a TV, most TVs, same setup, you're just gonna be in maybe in a different spot, but all you need to do is look for this, this little metal post right here. That is your antenna in, and that's what we need to plug in your antenna to. So all you need to do is no matter if you have a just a single cord antenna like this, all you're gonna do is plug that in to that antenna post right there. And you're gonna screw this on. There you go. Make sure you tighten it as much as you can hand tighten it because you don't want it to be loose because that will make uh, less connection there. So once you get that all tightened up, you're good to go. Basically, if you had just a normal one cord antenna, you're good to go. Just go ahead and turn the TV on and I'll show you that here in a little bit. But in case you do have a one, you have an antenna with a signal booster on it, you're going to want to Hook it up like this with your antenna input in here, and then you're also gonna have a USB cord to plug in. Now, some TVs have a USB port, so you could plug, you can use that. If you're not using it for anything else, you can plug your antenna right into the TV here, and that's gonna power your box. You're good to go. All you need to do is turn on your TV and go ahead and use that antenna, no problem. But if you're using this USB port here, then you can plug it into a little outlet adapter and plug this into the wall or your power strip or whatever you're doing. So you can plug, you can do that both. Whatever you wanna do, you can pick how you wanna hook that up. You can hook it into the TV, it will power your antenna, or you can use a power adapter and plug this into an outlet, okay? Then on your box, some of these will have this, some of them won't, it just 
depends on the booster and the antenna you have but mine says long range and short range and sh of course you know it just makes sense to use the long range uh, so I switched this little switch to long range and boom you're ready to go all you gotta do is turn on your TV and get to programming your channels and most TVs have this antenna post but if you do not have that antenna post then right now to my knowledge I haven't seen any adapters or anything like that uh, you if it, somebody has an adapter please send me a link in a comment that way we can send that information information out to everybody that's how you hook everything up let's get to programming your TV right now I'll show you how to set up your local TV now when I hook up to this TV this is a 2015 Samsung model and I'll leave links and everything if you guys want to look it up but I'm using the bunny ears like I said I hooked it up to the antenna how I showed you guys on the back and it automatically as soon as I plugged it in and turned it on it if I hit the channel button it automatically programs some stations in there automatically but I would always tell you to go ahead and go into the settings and run a scan and I'm gonna show you how to do that on this particular TV like I said I hooked it up and it automatically just worked it actually opened up a new little menu in my source so if I go to my source you see that it has TV there so that means antenna and then it has an HDMI and also outputs as well you can see right there but if you go to settings or on this particular Samsung it says menu and you're gonna want to go to this little satellite here that will open up as well go to antenna it says air which means you know antenna air but you're going to want to go and do a auto program here and you want air you don't want to go to cable or auto. you can do auto too but you I would just do air and hit start and it's gonna go ahead and do a run and program all those stations that you can get it did it automatically on this particular TV but it won't do that for all TVs I'm gonna show you that on another TV really quick but this is gonna take a little time it's going to run through all the stations that it thinks it can pick up and then when you get done it will just go straight back to whatever TV channels that you get in your area I think I pick up 26 stations in my area uh, it's showing that I'm getting 22 stations with good picture and everything that is picking up really clear you can see everything's working right now and it says I have 22 stations more because I'm using those bunny ears but upstairs I could probably show you I get some more stations so you can see that it's working you can go through your look this is all local free stations guys that you can pick up in your local area I'm gonna shut that off but you can see that it's working with one simple cord guys and you can see that I'm getting it so I'm gonna show you on a Roku TV and I'm gonna show or Roku however you want to say and I'm gonna show you on a Samsung TV as well how to get that set up I'm with my Samsung TV uh, upstairs in the main room here so I'm using the GE antenna that I showed you guys earlier right here using this antenna it's hooked up to my TV on the antenna input and I'll show you how to get it programmed here on this TV same thing for the most part it will probably automatically pick up but like I said I would go ahead and run a scan just so you can get all your stations sometimes it won't pick up all the stations at the first thing so on a Samsung TV you have your little menu on the bottom here and you want to go to live TV here and that's where you have your live TV but we'll go into the uh, settings this one actually has settings so we'll go into the settings here and we're gonna to want to go do broadcasting here once you hook up the antenna you will pop up that option so you want to go to broadcasting and then you're gonna hit on the remote you're gonna hit the OK so like I said so first I went to settings right here on the Samsung remote settings then I'm gonna go arrow down to broadcasting right here and then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter right there and it's going to open up the auto programming right here then all you need to do is hit the enter button which is in the middle of the arrows and hit start now with that same button in the middle of the arrows and you want to go air you want to go air again and hit the enter button and it's running that scan now some TVs work faster than others this one's going to pick up those stations and like I said normally I pick up about 24 to 26 stations in my local area some people have more some people have less it just depends on your area 
So it's saying that I get 26 stations here in my local area and that's pretty good and it's a nice day. So I'm getting the full amount of stations in my local area, which is awesome. And like I said, I'm using that GE antenna with a simple one cable hookup to the antenna lead on the TV. Now, this also says I have 200 stations with cable plus or TV plus which automatically hooks up to the local stations and I'll show you how to get there in a second. So if your TV is hooked up to the internet, you can hook it up via an, e an ethernet cable to the back of your TV and then into your uh, wireless router or your router or whatever. Or you can just wirelessly hook up through, you know, wireless internet and hook up to your router and you can pick up these stations as well. And it's all in the same local TV area so you'll get up to 200 stations including music stations and some movie stations and all kinds of things so that automatically turned off and automatically went to my free stations here um, so this is local tv here and i can go through here and i got all my local stations here most of them look pretty good too so it's pretty cool i'm going to go to my guide and this is going to show me all my local stations in my area right there I also want to show you one thing too. If you go to your menu uh, or your input source, your live TV menu is right there. That's your live TV. So if you go down to your source right here, click over with your arrow button on your remote to your live TV right there. That's live TV. You hit enter. It's going to take you to your menu and you can hit guide on your remote guide. And that takes you to all your stations and you see I'm getting all those local stations. And then once you get to, like I said, my stations total. here, right here, these are all the stations that you get with internet. So I can go through all those, go through these real quick. See, you got news. These are all news stations and then you're gonna have some TV stations, different things, TV shows, reels, vice, crimes crime tv which is really cool an unsolved mysteries channel wipeout you can see all these stations that you get and absolutely free as long as you are hooked up to the internet and all these stations as long as you're hooked up to the internet come in really good so you don't have to worry about signal or anything so my first 26 stations are local tv but then you can see this you know even spanish channels all kinds of uh fail army some kids stations right there so there's a good selection of free stuff that you can watch all right guys now i'm back with my roku tv and i'm going to show you how to hook up antenna tv and you see my antenna tv right here i am using my signal booster this is my basement tv that's why it's a little dark down here uh, i'm using my basement tv guys and i'm using my antenna my with signal boost on my roku tv i'm going to show you guys how to get that done all it's really easy and simple all you need to go down this is your home menu right here all you're going to want to do is go down to your settings right here go ahead and click on that tv inputs go to your antenna right here and i was doing all that with this remote here you can see the remote and you just have your arrows and you're okay and I just clicked in everything that I showed you now I'm going to go over to here to manage channels and then I'm going to go down to scan for channels right there and then I'm just going to hit scan start finding and it's going to go I have an antenna search for channels I don't have an antenna take me to TV streaming no we want I have an antenna search for channels hit enter uh, do you want three or four? That's if you have a converter box. We don't have that, so we just want to hit no. And now it, it's automatically scanning there. I thought I, this would be a good video to show you guys how to use local TV. And it's the same thing as a smart TV. So Vizios have watch free. Samsung has uh, Samsung Live TV. Uh, Roku TVs just have uh, live streaming TV. So they will interconnect with your live TV. So if you uh, go to your live TV menu. They'll have pretty much the same stations. They're pretty similar. Vizio has a little bit different stations, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same stations you'll get with all the live free TV. Thinking one TV might get more stations than another TV. 
Not really, guys. They're pretty much similar. You're going to get about 200 stations. Uh, I think the upstairs one was 203, but you're going to get around those 200 stations of uh, internet, and it has to be hooked up to the internet. Now, this one is hooked up wirelessly to my router, so all you got to do is hook up your internet, and you're going to pick up those stations for free. You're also, like I said, once you hook up an antenna, you're going to pick up your local stations for free. So it's going to add, you know, depending on what your area has for local stations. Like I said, mine has about 26. I'm going to get those 26 plus the 200 that I get for free. So I'm going to get around 226 stations for free, which is pretty awesome. So you don't absolutely need, and I know it's not like brand new movies you're going to get to watch, but they do have some pretty good content for everybody. You're going to find at least one or two stations that you can make your favorites, and, and you'll probably watch those stations a lot. All right, guys, so I'm back. It is done doing its scan, and it scanned 26 stations, which is great. Like I said, that's as many stations that I have in my local area, so perfectly has a signal booster and everything, worked perfectly in my basement and picked up all the stations. So now all we need done, so we just go to done, and if you needed to do it again, you could just scan again, which was an option. So you can see here's all my local stations, guys. And here's your guide. And you can see I have all these stations here. So we get down, then you get to streaming TV here. He says streaming TV. And then these are all the stations, once again, you get with uh, Roku right here. Like I said, most of them are similar to what you get on all smart TVs. Uh, those are all the stations here. Might get a little bit more with Roku, in my opinion, but most of the most of them are pretty similar and these are all streaming once again you have to have your tv hooked up to the internet all you do is go to your network settings hook your tv up to the internet um, it's pretty simple how to do that i'm not going to show that uh, a lot of videos out there how to get that done all right let's wrap this video up guys thank you so much for tuning in i showed you guys how to get your free antenna tv stations of your local stations in your area like i said some people have more some people have less could be in the middle of my, my area in the Midwest here. I pick up about 26 stations of free antenna TV. It's basically one that I wanted to get to you that you can get some free stations. I had some questions on how to get it done, how to hook them up. Various TVs will be similar, guys. There's a bunch of TVs out there, similar ways. You wanna find your antenna or broadcast or TV option, then click on that in your settings or menu and then it'll take you to your broadcasting and then it'll say scan for channels scan for channels and then once that's done hit done and you should be able to pick up your local stations easily now on a smart tv you will be able to pick up more stations as long as you hook up your internet to your tv via wirelessly or via corded uh, ethernet cable you can pick up more stations uh, through those live streaming uh, tv stations so on an older TV like this 2015, I, you can only, it's not a smart TV, so you can't hook up to the internet with it and you can't pick up some extra stations with it uh, through the smart. But on the smart TVs these days, you can get more stations, extra stations, pretty much uh, like 229 stations on these TVs with my local stations and my internet stations. And I can go through the guide on the remote and it'll take me through all the stations and I can have a pretty good selection of shows that can keep me entertained for a while. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, if this helped all, give me a like or subscribe and more videos and tutorials to come if this was helpful, thank you. I will leave a bunch of links for all these products that I had on here and all the antennas. If you guys have any other questions or comments, please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm out, more videos to come. DJ Martini Midwest reviews and tutorials. Later.